Kurt, thanks. Good morning. Ottawa police are asking for your help to find a missing man who may have dementia. 53-year-old Larry Kennedy was last seen on Monday near Booth Street. He spoke to his family over the phone yesterday but wouldn't tell them where he is. Kennedy is described as white, six foot one, and weighs about 230 pounds. He's clean shaven, has salt and pepper hair that's receding. He was last seen wearing jeans and a jean jacket. If you see him or know where he is, call police. The list of more than 1,500 beef products under recall in this country has grown again. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency updated its alert overnight to add dozens more beef products to the list of those being recalled nationwide by Alberta's XL Foods because of possible E. coli contamination. Meanwhile, MPs held a four-hour emergency debate last night in the Commons. Opposition MPs claim funding cuts to the CFIA made things worse. It was a busy night for Gatineau police who arrested three people for drunk driving and another man for possessing drugs for the purpose of trafficking. All were released on a promise to appear in court in the next few weeks. The biggest Thanksgiving meal in our city will likely be served up at the Ottawa Mission this weekend and the Ottawa Senators alumni are helping to make sure there's enough turkey for everyone. Sens President Sierra Leader and alumni members Sean Donovan and Jason York delivered 20 turkeys to the mission yesterday. Last year, more than 2,600 meals were served up for Thanksgiving. This year's dinner will be served up on Monday from 11.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. Tensions are high along the border between Syria and Turkey this morning after deadly shelling from Syria hit a Turkish border town. Turkish artillery fire has been aimed at Syrian targets in response to the shelling, which killed five residents and wounded dozen, a dozen others. Tens of thousands of Syrian refugees have crossed that border in recent months to flee the violence in their country. It's been 25 years since Canada and the United States signed a free trade agreement, and there's still debate on whether it was a good move for our country. Former Prime Minister Brian Mulroney hammered out the deal with U.S. President Ronald Reagan. Critics say it hasn't turned out exactly as advertised. They claim Canada's share of American imports is now lower than it was in 1987, while the value, value of our exports to the U.S. is about the same level as before the deal. Well, millions of Canadians are heading south of the border to catch a cheaper airline flight. The Conference Board of Canada reports about 5 million Canadians head to the U.S. where it's 30 percent cheaper to fly. The report says reducing airport fees and taxes would reduce revenues for the federal government but would bring back an estimated 2 million travellers. Finance Minister Jim Flaherty says the Transport Minister has been working on a consultation project with airlines and airports to see what can be done. Rush hour got a little hairy for drivers in South Florida when a huge Australian bird showed up and stopped traffic. Taco is a four-year-old emu, a five-foot-tall flightless bird looking for a mate. The bird was interested in everything and everyone wandering back and forth across the highway. Eventually, Taco was captured and returned home safely, but it turns out he lives in a suburban backyard just a few blocks away from where he was found.